That is why I'm asking for your vote, not just for me, but for this country that we believe in. We love America. We know where this country needs to go, and we're going to get it done. Well, America's position on Iran. U.S.-China relations are going to be a big issue for the next hundred years or more, but the campaign has probably been characterized by a focus on the domestic economy, which is unusual for Republicans. Republicans usually want to present their credentials as being hard men on foreign policy. I think it's been pretty effective. I think he's underplayed America's hand in the world quite often, say in the Arab Spring. The drone strikes in Pakistan and Afghanistan, I think I'd personally fault him for maybe overdoing that as a policy to try to look tough. Some people would describe him as someone who thinks about American power in complex ways but doesn't want to overuse it. But he certainly hasn't been someone who's put a, a kind of liberal left foreign policy agenda forward on a range of issues. I've often thought of Australian foreign policy towards the US as a kind of desperately seeking SAM approach, that we want more attention, we want to be recognised. Now we're being recognised, there's a nervousness of saying, OK, uh, we wanted to be uh, not forgotten, but this attention which may draw us into uh, complex questions about the China-US-Australia relationship, uh, maybe we would want to fudge those a bit. Our country survives pretty well, actually, by being a strategic backwater. I think it matters on really specific sort of country to country issues. It will make our uh, relations much more complicated, I think, with the US if the Iranian situation was to go into war. Obama is much more of a voice of caution than Romney, who I think would be more sympathetic to an Israeli strike. Romney might in fact create more problems for Australia than Obama.